Today, in concert with our allies, we will agree a massive package of economic sanctions designed in time to hobble the Russian economy. And to that end, we must also collectively cease the dependence on Russian oil and gas that for too long has given Putin his grip on Western politics. Our mission is clear, diplomatically, politically, economically, and eventually militarily. This hideous and barbaric venture of Vladimir Putin must end in failure. And so I say to the people of Russia, whose president has just authorised a tidal wave of violence against a fellow Slavic people, as the parents of Russian soldiers who will lose their lives, I cannot believe this is being done in your name, or that you really want the pariah status it will bring to the Putin regime. And I say to the Ukrainians in this moment of agony, we are with you. We're praying for you and your families, and we are on your side. And if the months ahead are grim and the flame of freedom burns low, I know that it will blaze bright again in Ukraine. Because for all his bombs and tanks and missiles, I don't believe that the Russian dictator will ever subdue the national feeling of the Ukrainians and their passionate belief that their country should be free. I say to the British people and all who have heard the threats from Putin against those who stand with Ukraine, we will of course do everything to keep our country safe. We're joined in our outrage by friends and allies around the world. We will work with them for however long it takes to ensure that the sovereignty and independence of Ukraine is restored. Because this act of wanton and reckless aggression is an attack not just on Ukraine. It's an attack on democracy and freedom in Eastern Europe and around the world. This crisis is about the right of a free, sovereign, independent European people to choose their own future. And that is a right that the UK will always defend.